Hey everyone, today I will demonstrate how to use uh, Jetson Nano to control this brushless uh, DC motor. So we have an industrial servo controller and this high torque BLDC. Uh, it can provide a nominal of 70 Nm torque. So it will be used on our capstone project, which is uh, basically a, a autonomous uh, robot car. Yeah. Um, so our first step is to power on this uh, actually is actually to connect my uh, Jason Nano I have an extension USB extension cable and it will connect to this uh, USB to RS485 converter okay so it's powered on and uh, yeah, so this 45 will have uh, A plus and B minus line and also the ground line connected to this uh, uh, channel 4. And uh, I have this, uh, so we just passed our SOP. So this wood board has a uh, strain relief of our AC cord because we are very concerned about the electricity shock. So. Uh, we also have a kill switch and uh, both of the servo uh, servo controller and the power supply is mounted on this wood so uh, okay let's power on the power core first um, okay so um, we can adjust this knob to 48 volt because that's uh, the motor that's the voltage for our motor yeah that, that's fine okay so uh, the use of kill switch you just push it down so, so right now you can see this red cable is connected to uh, the power line here don't touch it because this wire is exposed and the servo controller is on so if you press the kill switch it will turn off the servo controller and then you rotate this latch and it will turn it on again so that's a kill switch uh, okay so I already mount this motor on this vice so one thing is that one thing we learned in the physics class is that when we rotate this uh, this motor, there can be initially there will be a momentum against the vice when it started, but then we have a rotational momentum that's going the side way when this thing is rotating at a certain speed, a certain high speed. So we will start at a very slow speed, and and we will check every time if this. Uh, vice got loose okay so right now you can freely rotate and our power is on so i have this uh, visual studio code open and uh, first i need to check uh, i need to check uh, which port our where is our usb port so i will type ls uh, device Okay, so as you can see, we have TTY USB zero. Okay, so I already wrote it here. Okay, then uh, this part, this script will help me to communicate with the motor, and the baud rate is one one five two zero zero, and uh, I can run it. Enable the motor and give it a speed. Right now it's all zero right now. Okay, and uh, I will read it. I will run it and also read the current speed and the encoder position. Okay. Uh, so the speed you don't go over two hundred. That's uh, that will make it very unstable. You have to enable it first. Uh, my okay 
enable it to one, and we need to set a speed. So plus speed uh, initially is clockwise, uh, minus is counterclockwise, I think. And I mean, if you switch the sign, it will go opposite the uh, rotational direction. So right now, uh, actually I give it zero speed right now. Let me see the effect, okay? So I will run it. Okay, so it's reading. And if I try to rotate this motor, it's locked because it's zero speed. And this can be a, like a braking feature for our robot. Pretty tight right now, okay? Uh, let me stop this. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I will change it to five and run again. I'm running a for loop, and every iteration is 0.5 seconds. I have like 20 seconds total time right here. So you can change that, or you can add more features. Okay. And now this thing is moving. Moving at a very slow speed, five RPM, so it's not going to uh, lose uh, loosen our vice. Okay. Yeah, you can see the we have a, a, a absolute encoder uh, that give us uh, that has uh, ten thousand twenty four uh, lines, which is times four is four thousand ninety four thousand and ninety six counts per rotation. So that can help us to do some positional control. Okay. Uh, I can do uh, 50 RPM. Okay. You can see right now positive, uh, positive RPM is a uh, clockwise rotation. And the feedbacks give me 49, around 49 to 50 RPM, which is okay. Yeah. You can change the PIB value. I don't suggest you change it right now. I think uh, as far as right now, it's, it's okay. Maybe after we put the load, it will have a change. Uh, so let me give you negative 50. And right now, uh, it will give us a uh, counterclockwise rotation, okay? Yep. And now, now if I change it to uh, 200 RPM, uh, actually 150 RPM, and it rotates very fast. It's pretty good. Okay. All right. Now I will change it to zero and also change this to zero. So initially you said we, we saw like when I change when I enable the motor and put it to uh, zero speed, it will lock. Now I both up zero. Uh, I release the motor, so disable the motor. And now I can rotate this thing freely. So no break is on. Okay. Um I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact me. Hope our project can go well. All right.